thank God it's Friday. That's all I can say. So you might have noticed from some of my videos, but I'm slightly obsessed with animals. I live in Boulder, theoretically, is a city, though it doesn't really seem like a city. But I live in a two bedroom house and there are two of us and then many animals. <laughs> There's a lot of animals in this house and outside the house as well. So you all know Stinky, who is the cat love of my life, aren't you little guy? Probably the best looking cat you'll ever see, you got to admit. He's so cute. And then we've got Dave. Dave is actually a girl. And she's really fun and gorgeous. He's so gorgeous. And we've got Treacle. Treacle's a Doberman and she's so friendly and she's so lovely, aren't you, sweetheart? Yes, you are. And we've got Worm. Worm is a toy poodle crossed with a Chinese crested. That's why she's weird looking. She's half hairless. She's actually, compared to Treacle, the Doberman, Worm is a little naughty, aren't you? Yes, you can be very naughty. Likes to kill things and eat them. Don't you, Worm? <laughs> and then in my backyard is covered with chickens. This little white one here, that's Trevor. Trevor is actually a girl. She's a silky. And they're all getting a bit clucky now. Because they're like, what are you doing? What are you doing with that camera? Hi, girls. And then there are a couple of horses as well, but I can't film the horses because they're not in my house. Sadly, wish they were. Matt won't go for it though. Anyway, so all these animals, surrounded by animals, no children, <laughs> just animals. And um, that's, that's me. And that was me before I had anorexia. So I was horse obsessed my whole childhood, but not just horse obsessed. I was absolutely any animal that you could find obsessed. And um, I lived in the countryside and we had lots and lots of animals. And if we didn't have already have lots of animals, we found them and fed them and kept them and just spent pretty much all of my childhood being obsessed with animals. And then when I was 17 and then soon after I, I onset of anorexia, that started to fade. I can't say that I ever didn't like animals or anything like that. I just, you know, I, well, one of the reasons I moved out of my, parents house after uni was because I didn't want to be around them and them trying to make me eat and so I moved into this flat on my own and for, for ages years I didn't even have a cat I didn't have a single animal and for me that's just weird and I guess there was a part of it I didn't want one because it was inconvenient because then how could I do my exercise obsession all the time if I had to get back and feed an animal or look after something else but more than that, it was just like I really wasn't that interested. I really wasn't bothered. I didn't miss not having animals. That was the first thing to come back as I started to properly nutritionally rehabilitate and get better is um, e even actually my recovery, one of my recovery decisions when I realized that I was stopping the exercise and I went cold turkey, I was gonna be in my flat on my own a lot of the time because I didn't have any friends. I, I got a kitten, that's the first thing I did. I got a kitten. And then soon after that, I got a dog. And as I recovered, I kept on, just animals kept on coming. And that's, that's me, that's me. Just, I would have a farm. And maybe one day I will, <laughs> stay tuned for that. But I remember once that I was talking to a, a mother, the mother of a girl, I think she was around 17, who had anorexia and she was in recovery and she was doing really well actually in recovery. She was sort of at the later stages. And her mother said to me that the first, one of the first things, the signs that she noticed that her daughter was coming back to her, her, her you know, she was, her daughter was recovering, was she started to interact with the animals again more. And she'd stopped for the time that she was sick with, an with anorexia. She'd really stopped interacting with her cat and their dogs as much. And she said that she came downstairs once and found her daughter, who was in recovery and doing well, on the floor playing with the dog. And she hadn't seen that for years. She hadn't just seen her just lying there, just kind of loving all over the dog for years. And that was one of the moments that she realized that she was getting her daughter back. And so I guess this video is about how we change. I changed 
most of us change when we are sick. When your brain gets focused on malnutrition, it's not going to worry about what Stinky's doing, is it? Oh, sorry, Stinky. I'm always worrying about you, baby. I would never forget you. Anyway, see what I mean, though? Brain in malnutrition is kind of self-obsessed and can only think about food, and it doesn't not so much interest in animals and other things as well. There are plenty of other things Hope Wilson's has interested in. But the animals one, it's such a joy to me, and I'm so glad I got that back. Stingy, what are you doing? Hmm? You two are hysterical. <laughs>